This is the new front line in Libya's war. After forces loyal to the UN-recognized government pushed illegal militias out of Tripoli, the fight has moved to Sirte. So we've come to one of the frontline areas near to Sirte, and this is actually an area that until fairly recently the LNA had control of. Now forces loyal to the UN-recognized government have uh, recaptured this area and they're bolstering their forces in the area. And if we just look over here, you can actually see that on the walls there are some of the writings of the names of the LNA brigades. Between military posts are these wide open expanses of land. Any battle for control of the city of Sirte is going to be significantly more difficult and look very different to the fighting that took place around Tripoli. In Tripoli, you had those front lines in residential areas with lots of cover. But the front lines leading up to the city of Sirte, they look like this, wide open areas of uninhabited land. Onwards a little more, and this is pretty much the farthest point under the control of government forces. Beyond this point are Sirte and Habdal's militia. The UN-recognized government has said there will be no lasting ceasefire as long as Haftar has control of Sirte. We are fully ready. We're just waiting now for orders to start the operation and then we'll take Sirte and even cities after Sirte. We ask about Egypt's statements. It may deploy forces to Libya to support Haftar. We'll respond with a forceful hand if Egypt deploys ground forces. The police chief in Abu Ghraim, near the new front lines, tells us keeping civilians safe right now is a challenge. The military escalation really affects civilians badly. People will be displaced and will be very scared. This is always happening because of war. For now, around these front lines, there's a significant military build-up. There's no active fighting right now on this front line, but fighters here tell us that they're ready. Right now, the situation around CERT remains a military standoff. Sarah First, TRT World, on the CERT front line.